On today's episode of Garage Noise, I'm going to give you all the information you need to know on making a decision on what primer is right for your project. And stay tuned later on in the video, we're going to test out this new polyester primer that has a built-in guide coat. Let's get started. There is a lot of different types of primers and a lot of varieties of brands. Today I'm going to go over the types that I use and what application I use them for. The 2K Urethane Primer. This is a two component primer, primer and catalyst. It mixes four to one and I use this quite often. I use this on most of my repairs. It is perfect for building uh, primer over body filler so you can block sand it straight. Next we have three primers that are used for bare metal. The epoxy primer, the polyester primer, and the self etching primer. <clears throat> They're all a little bit different, have their own, own pros and cons. The, the epoxy primer is designed to go over bare metal. It is not a high build primer. You do not want to block sand this over body filler, or if you have a panel that you need to get straight, you do not want to use this to build it up to do. This is designed as a protectant to bare metal to have another coat of primer put over top of it. The self-etching primer is also designed to go over bare metal. I use this in situations where I am doing some sanding and I break through the paint into bare metal. I will use it in an aerosol can just to cover up that bare metal. Uh, it's quick and easy and I know it's going to be protected for paint. The polyester primer is kind of an all-in-one primer. It is a two-part uh, primer with the catalyst and the primer itself. It is designed to go over bare metal. Um, it is also a high build primer, so it is sandable. You can block it and, and get a panel straight with it. So it kind of does everything. And that's what I'm going to be using on this truck, which I'm doing an overall paint job on, and it's all stripped down to bare metal. I'm gonna be testing this out on that truck and we'll be doing that later in the video. Just a general purpose lacquer primer. This is used, at, I use this in an aerosol can just in certain situations where I'm, I break through uh, some primer that I've, I've sprayed on and I break through into the body filler. I'll cover it up with uh, some lacquer primer just because it's quick and easy in an aerosol can. I don't have to mix up a, a 2K primer to take care of the issue. Um, so that's what I use this for and it's good, nice to have around. Okay, so now it's time to go out in the shop and test out this polyester primer. It has a built-in guide coat. We're going to see how that works and how it performs. We're going to see how it sands. And I hope this helps you decide what primer you need to use on your project. Let's go. Okay, so this is the truck here that we're going to do a complete paint job on. I just wanted to give you an idea of the truck. This fender here we're going to tape off and primer. And we'll see how that primer performs. Okay, so we're going to mix up the primer. This is the primer here. It's pink, but it's supposed to sand gray. So we're going to stir this primer up. We need to shake it up. So let's get it, let us get it all mixed up. So this primer is very thick. Okay. So it calls for a 2.0 tip or larger. One thing I wanted to mention about this polyester primer, it's very thick. So you need to consider that if you're choosing this primer. You need a primer gun that has a 2.0 tip or larger to spray this. I purchased this one online, it was very inexpensive. I'll leave the links in the descriptions to all these products in case you're interested. But let's go ahead and spray this panel. Okay, a few things to note on this, okay. I told you it was a really thick product. Well, I, when I set up the gun, I didn't, I had it, I had the volume, I had a lot of volume of product coming out of the gun and it came out really rough. Which is not gonna be a problem because I'm gonna sand all this off anyway. Um, it's, not a, it's not a problem at all, but, so I tweaked with it a little bit. I tweaked the gun a little bit, choked down on the volume so there's less material coming out 
and upped up the air pressure and that atomized it a lot better. So that's what you need to do when you're spraying this, just so you know. But let's take a look at it. So as you can see, it's very thick. It almost looks like it's gonna run in areas. It's not a problem for sanding and we'll block it out and I'll show you how it blocks out and how the guide coat aspect of it works. But I sprayed another little panel here. Let's spray another little just area here and I can show you. So I sprayed another little area here with higher air pressure and less volume and it came out a lot smoother. So that's what you need to do when you're painting this or when you're priming this. Okay, so now this primer's dry. I've got some, a block with some 320 on it. I'm gonna sand it and we'll see how it turns out and how it looks. So how do I end up liking this primer? Um, I have to say I was a little skeptical once I, once I sprayed it and it was so rough. Um, it did smooth out a little bit with some air adjustment, some volume adjustment, but I have to say the primer sanded extremely well. It sanded like butter. There was no issue in sanding out that roughness. Um, it fills very well because this is one thin coat of primer. Um, I didn't put two coats on and it blocks out very well and fills very well. As for the guide coat in the primer, I do like that. It seems to be very handy and, and it might save you a little bit of time on finding dents. So that's good. The one drawback is it is a little pricey for this primer. I think the kit is like $180 for a gallon of primer, which would do your entire vehicle. So it's not terribly expensive. I think it'll save you time in the long run because you won't have to apply an epoxy primer and then a 2K primer over top of it. It's all one step. You can go over body filler. So I do like this primer and I do think it would be good for certain aspects of repairs. This would be a really good primer if you're painting your entire vehicle. And if you are painting your entire vehicle, check out this video. It's gonna tell you all the things that will ruin your DIY paint job and how to avoid them. If you wanna build your skill and increase your knowledge, start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and we'll see you next time.